plums, carrots. There's a safe. Gonna have to pick this one. Oh, that looks like it works. But, however, that's probably not the one I want to do. Yeah, because if I do that, it's not going to work. Can't do that, and I can't do that. So this one is not for the top. So if I do... No, can't do that one. I can do that. Two, two, and one. Maybe this? So... I do that. No. Oh, I think I see it. And then... Not that. Not that. So this is the mulligan. Could be that. Or... Could be that. No. Could be this. And then... This. Wait a minute. Is that a... Is that a is that a SKV? Huh. I'll grab it and see what I can do with it. Interesting. You see an old uh, that's the second old world uh Weapon I came across. Like how the old world weapons do a shit ton of damage though. They're like really good. Alright, five more kills with this thing. We're golden. Rag. Rag out. Toxin, metabolic, synapsis, fuse. <clears throat> Spins, zero wire. Wait, what does it say, Vosca? <laughs> I was like, that's not a Bosco thing. These two mulligans for that one. And then do this one. Oh shit, that's not gonna fit. Uh, maybe this one? That one will fit. Alright. Okay. I have a feeling this one's for. Oh, I could either. No, not for that one, but maybe for this? Yes. Should I worry about that? Can't see him. Ooh. He's shooting me through the wall. The shit. Oh, 
Oh, he's a level 24 too, man. I need to be careful. Got him. What is that? Enemy activity detected at close range. Trying to clear all the opposition first. I can like I wish I could just hold down the button take and like equipped <laughs> but uh I guess I'll uh, I guess I'll wait modified calibrated let's get a let's put on a better helmet Oh, he'll burn to death. Okay, there's another guy, but I don't think he's gonna be a. Pro oh wait. As I was saying, I don't think he's gonna be a problem. Now I can talk to that one person. Is she, is she trying to leave? Okay, never mind. Haven't you had enough? Do your worst. Haven't you figured it out? You'll get nothing from me. You're just gonna have to kill me, asshole. Hmm. Wait. <laughs> Your gal bank. My loan saved me. God, that's the best loan I've ever taken. Wow, never seen someone so excited for the loan to be collected. Happily, eagerly, I could kiss you. I'll make my way out of here in case any reinforcements arrive. Thank you. Yeah, don't get captured again, okay? Uh, let's get out of this mine. Just kind of looking. Dibber dibber dibber. Just kind of looking at the bird bird you doing. So now I'm thinking about like certain things to tell my daughter in the future and everything like that is like well if you ever want to get into art music and all that stuff too 
prepared to have at least 10 to maybe even 20 years of hardship <laughs> to where you're probably not going to make any money at all. But half the time, just the process of creating something is worth it. <laughs> just don't do it for the money. That's what I would probably tell my daughter. And, it, well, any other kids we have in the future, which... We're aiming for three kids. So, um... I don't know. If, anyone, if any of them ever want to... I'm not going to try and discourage them from doing anything in the future, though. As long as it doesn't... You know. I will definitely 100% discourage them from doing anything that harms people. But, um... Oh, unless it's military or something like that, then there's an exception. But, uh, yeah. Man, I'm not going to be one of those parents, though. It's like, uh, this might not have worked out for me, but it could probably work out for you. Who knows? Times change. Shit like that. You never fucking know. They probably are more talented than you, and they might actually land someone's eye. <laughs> Usually kids tend to be more talented than the parents anyway, so I definitely wouldn't discourage anything. There's going to be more talented than us in something. <laughs> we'll find out. And whoever, wherever, wherever else is our kids in the future. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see what they get into. That's, that's the more, ex that's the most, it's one of the more exciting parts about being a I guess a parent now is that you can only guess like what they're going to get into. It's like, what are they going to like in the future? What are they, what are they going to dislike? I'm more excited about see what type of food they're going to like. <laughs> it's like, huh, is my daughter going to have the same type of food, like taste profile as me and her mom? Don't know. If anything, they're going to be spoiled though. They're going to be eating some good shit. Or, you know, freaking larb knows how to, you know, knows how to bake and all that. I'm not the baker, but I know how to cook pretty much anything you tell me to cook. So I know how to do that. I know all the little techniques I need to do. I know how to make ruse and everything to start things. As long as you know the basics of cooking, you pretty much can cook almost anything. You know the overall process. You are solid. It's weird that I have to do this. Jemison and So many menus to go through just to get somewhere. Oh, I'd rather just fly there. <laughs> Now, some of the jokes that uh, Zombie says about this game is he's not far off about it. <laughs> like, they're jokes, but at the same time, it's like, it's it's a menu slash fast travel simulator. And it's, it's that's not far off at all. People joke, say those maroons, uh, we, we deal with that, though, in order to enjoy the rest of the game, which the rest of the game is good. However, the lighting on that water is not that great. I wish it was a little bit better. But it is the creation engine, and it's not the prettiest engine. Too spoiled by other engines. And Code Code Jima's engine has better water. <laughs> Together we can really make a difference. Another successful venture, and you save the day too. <laughs> I wish every job was so win-win. Here's the pay. Let me know if you want another assignment. Is by chance your uh, ancestors the Bush family? <laughs> I got a new account for you. This one breaks my heart a little because we got a mercenary here, but the good kind. He was an upstanding citizen. He took out loans, paid them on time, every time. And about a year ago, he maxed out his credit and vanished. Leaving us with a sizable account in arrears. It took some digging, but we have the name of the planet he's on. Hmm. There you go. 
Now, I know I keep harping on this, but go easy on the guy. Maybe he's hit some real bad luck. It could happen to any of us, right? Yeah. That's why I always tell people, don't ever go in debt. Like, try your damnness to never go in debt. If you're going to take out a loan, you make sure you can pay that off in another month from now. If you can't pay off a loan in a month, don't fucking take the loan. <laughs> that's all I have. That's all I have to say. You better not be taking loans that you can't pay in a month's time. So many people ruin their lives taking out loans and shit. It's kind of like how, you know, your parents' parents probably said to, you know, their kids is that, um, you know, you shouldn't be taking money you can't pay back. You can't, you know, you know, don't take money you don't have. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good thing to learn, you know, live by. You should be taking money anyway that you don't own. Ooh, level 25. Okay, this one might have to wait. Uh, I can probably do it, but it's risky. I'm not going to risk it for that biscuit. Mm, I'm about to level 14 pretty soon, though. Okay. Well, since I'm in the actual, like, market district, I should probably try and sell some things. Well, whatever's on my person right now. I'd like to go to Outland. He'll pretty much buy a little bit of everything. You're only as safe as your equipment. Yes, by all means, have a look. Oh. <laughs> also should see if he has any healing packs. Hmm. La hey, I can upgrade commerce if I wanted, which I guess that's going to be my main way of uh, earning money. I need to put more things into commerce. Uh, this, uh, uh, make sure I'm not selling things I don't need to sell. I think I am selling things I want to sell, though. I might keep that because I don't, it's not like a legendary or anything, but it might be very rare. You think it would be, but you, you never sure. I'll keep that for now. Same thing with that pistol, too. I need to make uh, weapon mounts. So that way we can, like, show off weapons that are very unique. Ammo. Oh, yeah. Uh, Spacesuits. Packs. I have an extra pack. Sell that shit. Uh, see, that's... This helmet that I have right here is really good for, like, I don't know, like, you know, you want to do stealth and all that because you go chameleon if you don't move around that's like one of the best like perks in any bethesda game it's really good in fallout and it's also a really good perk to have in elder uh, uh, elder scrolls like they're in all of the franchises so it's it's really cool to see chameleon in um starfield as well so if there's ever if you're ever contemplating on what helmet you should have as a stealth character, this one. This is the one you want. You want to look for a helmet or anything. I, I think there's fine, not just helmets that do that, but anything that gives you chameleon. I think you only need one too because it'll probably 100% uh, hide you. It'll probably keep shooting in that general direction, but I mean, for the most part, it's going to be worth it. Cryo mine. Fragmentation mines. Yeah, I gotta keep an eye on his, like, money, too. Making sure I don't start giving him things for free. Sell him the amps. Don't need to sell him any of that good stuff. Sell him heart. Sell him this stuff too. Don't sell him. Ah, I got 54 of those. I might not ever have to buy these anymore. I think I've gotten to the point in the game now 
Right, I should be comfortable healing wise. Just need to make sure I'm staying on top of uh, ship parts though. Make sure I always have ship parts just in case I get to have a conflict. And I also got these trauma packs too. So on top of med kits, I got these trauma packs and they're fantastic. Ooh, yeah. Don't forget to sell. What is it? There's things that you want to sell in your notes. And that is, uh. Not that. Not that. Not that. Oh, I might not have it. Uh, it's research data, or, uh, what do you call it? Something. It's some type of data you want to sell. And. You can. Yeah. Um, scanning data. I don't think that's what it's called, but yeah. Good luck on all your adventures. Don't forget to check your notes and all that to sell uh, data that you can actually do. Yeah, but you can sell that stuff. I think the people that buy it for more money is the people at the lodge. So your 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 buddy buddies, they they will buy it for more money. I am thinking right now. You know, the one thing I need to do, I need to figure out where my next paint is going to be in. Ballistic weapon systems. To be honest, that would be nice to put some more points into the ship. Utilization, utilize ship thrusters. I could always do that. Spend one more point on that. Hmm. You know what? As long as I have it unlocked, I don't think I really ever have to uh, put another point in this. So that's good. Security, on the other hand, I should probably put another point into that. But. I could probably put another point into this too. Especially if there's a really good ship around it. All down the line. Science. Increase grav jump range for jump drives by 15%. Get more com common and uncommon inorganic resources. I might do that one. Uh, medicine, which I put, I thought I put two, no, I haven't. Oh, I still have to, I still have to use a lot of healing items, which, God, <laughs> it's going to take a while. I might have to start using those healing items as I was sleeping in the bed. Uh, research, surveying. Let's do... So yeah, instead of shotgun... I wonder if... I wonder if there's a way to respect a little. Like just trying to kind of take certain things away, put things in. I think there is a way. I just don't know how. Particle beam... Particle beam weapons... Do 10% more... EM weapons... Heavy weapons do 10% more damage. So I'm probably either going to do... I'm probably going to do heavy weapons next. So what does this one do? Spend two more... Uh, I can't really exactly know what it says. Marksman could be for probably all things. Snipers are... I am wondering if there actually is, like, legit sniper rifles, and if that's the case. So I'm treating an assault... I'm treating a rifle as a sniper rifle. But it does, you know, now that I see this category, sniper rifle certifi uh, certification, it does make me wonder. And then there's targeting. Targeting as in that's <laughs> That'd be interesting. Sharp shooting crippling and of course armor penetration which armor penetration is probably going to be very important in, in uh, late game 
So I'll probably try and work myself towards that eventually. Yeah, I guess if there's any emblems that have like, a sh you know, a shimmer and all that, that means it's ready to be upgraded. Uh, intimidation, diplomacy. I should probably maybe put one more point into, uh, I need to start unlocking what you call it. Um, see, I'm already on the second tier for this one, so I need to start getting the second tiers for other um, places, which now I'm on tier two for this. I got to figure out if there's a tier two I want to start investing in. Pain tolerance, maybe, so I could do like physical damage resistance. Not that. Um, unlock the ability to combat slide so you can combat slide in the game if you really want and you take 15% less damage while doing it so I guess if you're combat sliding in or out of cover is probably a good way to reduce the damage and also be a little bit more mobile um, environmental conditions gain 10% resistance to airborne Environmental damage. I don't really care for that. It doesn't really matter. An energy weapon. Ooh. Energy weapon is reduced by 5%. I guess the damage taken by that. So I think, if anything, I could probably put points into pain tolerance and then energy weapon dis dissipation. But, uh,. We need to put more points into social. And then we need to put more points into science really needs to be uh, worked on. So maybe I'll put points into science. Yeah. Okay. So science needs the most work right now. So, but I can't put in another point into medicine. Um, I could probably put points into geology though. So I think my next, I think my next points are going to be put into biology, I mean, uh, geology, and then maybe a point in the surveying, depending on if I don't heal myself, at least, was it 14 more times? <laughs> I'm going to have to do that. So I need to start healing myself more. Well, hey, look at that heal myself one more time <laughs> it's kind of a waste of healing but it's I kind of need to uh, oh yeah I'm gonna choose what my next mission is so I think we're pretty much done with missions for now or miscellaneous missions and now it's time to get this started deep cover yeah, let's get it started. That means we need to go back to Mars. Go to Seoul. Land on Mars. Go to Sidonia. Knights of Sidonia! Do 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 Gotta meet my contact for the drugs so that way I can slowly slip myself into the Crimson Fleet. I think if anything, if I ever do a second playthrough of this game one day, I'm gonna try and go to the Crimson fleet route. So right now I'm being all goody two shoes with authorities and all that in this playthrough. But I think if I ever do a second playthrough, I'm just gonna pick fights. I'm gonna be the meanest motherfucker. <laughs> Pretty much a renegade playthrough. Right now I'm being lawful. Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sidonia heard you. 
Uh, okay.